Hello, good people. Gladys Park here again. Excited as always. And today I'm coming because of the latest update that we had recently over this past weekend from our brother and friend, Mr. Ash Mufare. He appeared on uh, Otec Pro with our brother, Mari Degamo and engineer Mike with the Otec Pros. And then we saw also engineer Mohammed Kamal, the COO, our brother also and our friend appearing uh, with the leaders of India and the affiliates uh, globally. It's very good news. I know some people are wondering what's happening, but I'm very happy that we got to hear from both of, of them. This was double portion <laughs> served to us. As we know, they are the ones who are on the steering. They have their own backup. You know, the people work with them, their teams. And I'm going to start from our COO, Mohammed Kamal, the updates that he gave. He really kept hammering and repeating, saying how the company is working hard. He named Dr. Susan, Dr. Tariq, and many others, other leaders in India. He said in uh, UAE, work is going on. India, Hyderabad, work is going on. Uh, Egypt, Egypt, work is going on. So work is going on. All that he asked is that we may continue to have that trust in the company because what they said, and they made it clear, he doesn't like to lie to people, so he likes to speak the truth, which is good. Actually, this took me back, if you remember, when uh, Mr. Mupari brought uh, the some of the big minds of one person to come and talk to us. Um, Mohammed Kamal was one of them. Dr. Tariq was one of them. I remember uh, engineer Mohammed Kamal reassuring us on that meeting as well. I remember Dr. Tariq saying, I will not let you down. He said those words clearly. So for me, I have no reason honestly to doubt and I believe as many, I have no reason to doubt because they said and the words have been reaffirmed again with engineer Mohammed Kamal. And now coming to our brother and friend, Mr. Ash Mufare, the same thing. He also reassured us. He told us how the company is working hard on Saturday. He repeated, he has said this before. He said again, the company is working hard day and night. And he made it very, very clear that when it comes to migration, because as we know, there's migration going on. It's not a one-click thing. And I have to confess this. I'm one of those who was thinking that migration is going to be a quick thing. But thanks be to God that on Saturday, he came on and explained, and Engineer Mohammed said the same thing. It's not a one-click uh, deal. It's a process. It has to go step by step. You finish one level, you go to the, to the other level, you go to level number three, four, five, like that. You cannot skip. If you mess up and skip one, it means it's going. you have to restart again or it's going to delay things. So the, is, they said, both of them, that they are trying to do the right thing. They are following the procedure. There's a process. And so for me, I was very happy to be educated on Saturday a little bit about uh, the migration process, how it's taking place. So that kind of reassured me, gave me more peace. And I hope that it does the same to anybody who did not know what migration is or to anybody who was questioning why things, you know, are not happening so quickly. I know, yes, we miss or connect. We are trying to find ways to pass the information. If you really want to be on only or connect, which is okay, this is a time for a break. And I remember uh, our brother Chris Johnson did mention that, even uh, Maddie did say that. Take a break or connect will be back. And then the updates, uh, another thing that many of us were thinking is that when all connect is going to come back, it's going to come back different again. I hope you had a chance to listen to what Mr. Ash Mufari said. He said the updates mostly are happening in the back end, not what we are going to see. We may see the OES or something. You may experience something going on and notice I see something here, but let's not expect that we are going to see a totally new or connect. 
So let's be happy. Whatever that they are doing, the updates, since you mentioned it's most of the things are in the back end, they are in the back end. So for me, I have confidence, I'm happy. And they said it is. On Passive is a business that was started with the user in mind, meaning it's not only just the products, AI and money, it's also humanizing. And as we know, there are many companies out there, but humanizing the business, you know, AI with heart, putting the heart there, a little bit of love, a little bit of kindness. And they said also the importance of treating people with respect, treating people nice, you know, being good to people or being nice is free, but it's a very hard virtue to so many people. So let's just take these small things. We are not perfect. We are human beings. We make mistakes. But I think when you hear these things from different people contributing, as long as there are good virtues that we can embrace, I think we can learn something. And we are happy to have, you know, great leaders who inspire us, uh, as you heard. They keep on saying about being nice, treating people well, with respect. And one thing I need to clarify, you know, treating people with the kindness does not mean that you are weak. No, you cannot be weak. You cannot be, does not mean you are not smart. Does not mean that you don't know what you're doing. No, it's doing the right thing at the right time without being naive, without knowing when to say no and when to say yes. So I really appreciate this, uh, the updates that we had. I think they gave from what I'm seeing on the WhatsApp forums, on the communication, I can see that hearts have lit up a little bit more. People are happy, people are grateful for the updates and optimistic about what is to come. So I love the fact that now we don't have the timestamps or the timeline that this is going to happen at this time. We are now open to surprises which I think is better. It's better for us to be open to surprises so that when things happen, things happen and happen at the right time so that when you go logging into the OES, you find something new. I think that's great. And I truly, truly, truly appreciate all the work that is being done by the tech teams. And our brother engineer, Mohammed Kamal, thank you so much for reminding us about the Hyderabad team. You mentioned it and you really tried to zero in on the work that they are doing. I think we used to talk about them and kind of, it's like some of us forget. Personally, I kind of <laughs> forgot in a way. I think because I got the O connector and I became comfortable. So we really appreciate wherever around the world because this is a global company. And as he said, there's work going across the globe. Uh, we don't know exactly where. We know a few, the few offices that have been made public, but I'm sure that we are in for a huge surprise. And when that time comes, we will give testimonials. We will share the, uh, the excitement. And that's all we are looking forward to. And carry on the mission of One Passive of uplifting humanity around the globe. We can make it and we can create a dent in poverty. Final thing, Mr. Ash Mufari reminded us again to continue doing what we've been doing because we had a life before we came to Unpassive. Let's continue. So we continue to support the business. Let's continue hustling. Let's continue doing what we were doing as we wait and pray for the company. Pray for all those who are working, you know, in the company that everything worked together for good and I'm very confident that finally we will be happy eventually. Thank you so much and God bless you all. I look forward to be back Thank again. You. In case of anything interesting, I'll come back and share. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.